Well, good morning, Hackology, and welcome to a new episode. It is approximately 5 a.m. in the morning here in the UK. I am up nice and bright and early, and uh, it's about time I did a bloody video for you guys. So, uh, as I promised, starting off with some basic stuff, today we're going to look at making something called the Annoyatron. No, hang on, I called it the Annoyalator. Right, this is basically a small Arduino device that uses a piezo buzzer that will randomly... Um, make some very annoying sounds um, every so often so like the uh, Arduino is programmed to um, sound the buzzer with various different tones and noises at uh, various different random intervals um, basically you can either run this off a power bank or you can plug it into some USB device or USB power outlet and uh, just let it run you can change, manipulate the settings inside the code to alter the frequency, duration and type of sounds that the device makes and you can use it to prank your friends, you can use it to prank yeah, people that you <laughs> really want to annoy um, and just leave the device somewhere um, or sellotape it somewhere, stick it to a desk put it in the back of their PC, laptop, blah, 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 blah. you know it, uh, maybe even run it off a power bank and just put it somewhere really really slow um, so let's get started. It's really basic. Um, all you're going to have to do is solder the um, piezo buzzer onto a couple of the pins of the Arduino and then we'll uh, manipulate the rest in code. So uh, hopefully this video is going to look a little bit better. I should be using Sony Vegas for all the editing um, as open shot is a bit of a pain in the bum and um, even though I do like to endorse the open source software I don't feel that uh, open, so open shot is a, a uh, a, a place where I can comfortably use it to do the uh, style of editing that I, I wish to do for Hackology. Anyhow, let's get to it. Um, I'll um, set the camera up so I can show you which pins you've got to solder this to. It's been a while since I looked at the project so uh, we might do a little bit of debugging and um, playing about as we go along. But I'll go and get the components ready, get the camera set up, we'll get that videoed and then I shall go through the code with you guys and uh, at the end of the video we'll do a little demonstration and show you how it all works and what it sounds like. Right, peace, I'll uh, catch you uh, in the build video. Okay, so for this project you're going to need a soldering iron, you're going to need some solder, you're also going to need a piezo buzzer, this one's in a little bit of a sorry state but that shouldn't matter, it should still work perfectly fine. You're going to need some kind of Arduino device it doesn't have to be the Nano, it could be a Micro, it could be an Uno, it could be a Mega. Um, just as long as you've got um, an Arduino device that you can flash. In this one I thought I'd use the Nano because it comes with the USB port. And uh, easy to add the code on there and edit it. And they're reasonably cheap as well. You also need a USB cable for your power supply. And if you plan on putting this somewhere where you don't easily have access to power, you also need something like this. Is a um, USB power bank, uh, 18650 powered. So basically, you can use this as an 18650 charger, um, and you can also use it as an 18650 power source. Um, very cheap, 99p on eBay. Approximately the same, 99p on eBay. These come in at approximately um, three pounds, maybe, on eBay, which isn't too expensive. Uh, piezo buzzers, you can buy these in say packs of five and they, they're not very expensive. Um, solder, it, you don't have to have a flash soldering iron uh, or a temperature controlled one. You don't even have to have a soldering iron. If you wanted to do this project you could probably use a breadboard and plug your um, piezo buzzer into the, directly into the breadboard. But um, we're just going to solder it onto this for now. And in a future episode we're going to be making a shield for the Arduino. Um, and we're going to be using a uh, piezo buzzer, so I thought this was a nice little intro into um, it, uh, making sounds with the Arduino and uh, piezo buzzers, which we'll be using in a later video. So let's get busy, let's uh, put it all together and um, let's see it in action. Okay, so hopefully without moving the Arduino, first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of solder to the end of my iron and clean it off so we've got a good, nice, fresh contact for um, getting some good heat transfer so this is the tricky bit trying to solder on camera all right so the ground pin is here 
in fact this is going to be really difficult I'm just going to um, I'll show you the soldering after I've done it uh, because I don't want to desolder any of the components okay, so I'll try this. this so I've got the camera in a different location I can get to it from this side so as long as I don't move the board it should be in shot yeah. pre tin these wires with a little bit of a solder before we go ahead and put them on the board and we've got some fresh flux on there the joys of making videos I've forgotten how tricky they can be sometimes right so this one here is going to ground and this one here hopefully that's still in shot and I haven't moved it out of shot Oh, God damn it. Let's tidy this end up. Right, so that's better. This one here is going to pin number nine, which is this one here. And there we go, that's uh, all the soldering that you're going to need for this project, which is uh, fantastic, sorted. So, pin 9 and the ground pin on the Arduino Nano. OK, so just a quick demo before we get to the code. Um, the uh, Arduino has been flashed with the program. And you can hear this piezo uh, speaker making all good noises. So once every 10 or 15 seconds, this piezo buzzer will go off and then it will reset and uh, trigger itself again. Every time the noise occurs it's, uh, it's randomised so I'll take you through the code and show you just how we do that. OK Hackology, so let's have a look at the code. The annihilator, with the correct settings and right placement this device will quickly drive its target bonkers. Great fun and an ideal start project. So this project was designed and tested with the Arduino Nano. You will need a piezoelectric buzzer. Different types can be found in many low-cost consumer electronics devices like radios, clocks, um, alarms, anything that beeps basically. If you can find something that beeps it's usually got a piezo buzzer in there. You can either salvage one or you can buy them very cheaply off eBay. And as I mentioned earlier on the Arduino Nano is probably about £3 on eBay. So uh, instructions connect the ground wire, uh, the brown one to ground and the, um, connect the positive wire to pin number 9 on your Arduino. That's what we've already done so that's it. Um, and basically you can edit the variables below to tune, fine tune your perfect settings and reflash the Arduino. So let's just have a quick look at the code. Um, so we've defined the pins here, the LED pin, speaker pin. Uh, this variable defines how many beeps it should make every time it makes a noise. So we can set this to a lower number or a higher number so you could be more subtle with your annoyance or you could be completely blatant with your annoyance. It just depends on whether you're placed in it um, in a place where you want somebody to easily find it or you're placing it somewhere that somebody cannot physically get to it. Um, so you could you could really drive somebody crazy if uh, this thing kept making the noise all day but they couldn't physically get to the device. Um, so this is the uh, this defines the length of the beeps. So at the moment, every beep will be 100 uh, microseconds long. And these are the frequencies. 
so this is the low frequency the min frequency and this is the max frequency that we've got set to 2600 some of you will understand why i've used that number some of you will not so the uh, min pause time uh, so these are the pause times between um, beeps as shown here in the comments in the code and then these are the uh, t the, the the time variables that the Arduino should rest for in between its cycles. So after every time it's it's done a loop of noises, it will sit there quietly for a certain amount of time before it decides to reinitialize itself and start making noise again. So as per usual with every Arduino setup, uh, every Arduino project, we run the setup uh, function and we define the LED pin, we define the speaker pin, and uh, we also enable serial communication for debugging, which you're probably not going to need for this program, uh, for, for this uh, project, but uh, we'll leave it in there anyway. So the main program loop here will uh, enable the LED pin when the Arduino starts to make a noise. It will then uh, check how many beeps it should make, and then it will play a tone using the minimum max length and the minimum max frequency. It will then also delay so it will pause in between each beat for the specified variables that we have above and once it's finished making its noise we set the LED pin to zero so we turn it off and then we perform a delay uh, to for the Arduino to rest in between the noises that it's making so we we'll scroll down and the last function we're going to look at is the play tone function which takes two variables duration and frequency and basically this just goes through and writes out pulses to the piezo speaker depending on what frequency you'd like it to produce and how long you'd like it to produce that frequency for and these get written out to the pins that the speaker is written on um, you can play about with any of the variables in this uh, in, in this project um, to fine-tune the way this the annoyatron will will work so uh, that's the code and I shall include a small demo of it at the end and maybe we'll go and try and find a target later on today um, if at all possible and uh, just demonstrate how well this device will drive somebody crazy you've been watching Hackology I hope you've enjoyed this project this is a building block so uh, the next project to plan on doing will be using uh, something very, very, very similar. And uh, unfortunately, the project that I actually wanted to do for this video would have been a, um, um, a breakout board for an alarm system. But unfortunately, um, I've ordered some of the wrong components. So I'm just waiting on China snail mail for them to turn up and we shall uh, progress with the Arduino projects over the next few videos um yeah i'll catch you in the next one guys i hope you've enjoyed it and uh yeah you know go easy on me i said i was going to start off basic and we'll work up to some cooler stuff as we go along i just need to get my video editing and my uh my setup and everything back online peace guys catch you in the next one